Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Isas. I was thinking to make an intro video for my channel, but I was waiting for an opportunity, you know, when and how to make this intro video. And uh, recently a list has been announced, or you can say uh, a news has been announced by Stanford University, which is the fourth version of it. And they normally they produce a list of, you know, scientist or researcher, top 2% world, you know, researcher and uh, glad to inform you all that you know i'm part of that uh, you know list so this is for an uh, you know uh, for a scientist to be a part of such you know uh, list or 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 among a part of that you know category it is kind of an achievement there are other, other sort of you know achievement um, but particularly when we talk about research and um, uh, sort of recognition from from you know Stanford University or let's say from it is being published by Elsevier so listed in that category itself is a big achievement so I will I will uh, take you to uh, to my journey that I have started as you can see from government you know school towards uh, at present you know what I am doing and why this e support for research so let's uh, see you know um, this is where you know I have started my primary education you can see class uh, uh, one to class six and then if uh, if you uh, if then i uh, come to bulla where i have continued from class seven to ten then i joined um, you know gm in university earlier it was gm junior college at my time then i i did my plus two there then um, in trident academy of technology i did my btech in biomedical engineering then I did my, you know, M.Tech in biomedical instrumentation in Karuna University. Then after that, I've joined um, uh, Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology as assistant professor. And uh, there I have joined in department of AEI. Uh, then I was shifted to Tripoli and, uh, you know, in year of 2021, 20, I joined uh, in the department of CSE based on my research in area and expertise, uh, this sort of, you know, department changes happen and as you all are knowing you know on the, the current booming area is in the field of computer science so uh, i was there in the department and but you know i'll i'll show you a few mem memories uh, in that because i have uh, spent almost a decade in um, smit so i did my phd there then i have organized a conference which is of uh, a great highlight you know itari and uh, then I got, uh, you know, jury award also for academic and research. And um, then after that, I suddenly, you know, uh, you might be uh, knowing that I'm uh, now an adjunct faculty, you know, at a uh, few of the institutions that I would like to share. And I'm working, uh, you can say work from home sort of thing and uh, continuing my research uh, that I have been doing and, uh, you know, I'll be doing. and. Uh, I am currently affiliated with uh, Kite Group of Institution as uh, you know adjunct faculty research in the department of ECE, and uh, this is since I know you can say April uh, 2022 onwards. And along with that, I am also affiliated with adjunct faculty research with a directorate of research Sikkim Manipal University, which where I have did my PhD along with you know I I spent a decade at uh, SMIT, which is part of SMU. So there, you know, I'm contributing to Directorate of Research. Also, you know, I'm part of uh, this ISTI CNR, uh, this uh, as research associate, you know, since 2021. And um, uh, this is sort of kind of, you know, a, a big achievement for me to be a part of ISTI CNR, you know, Italian National Council, where, you know, it is uh, solely on a research sort of project that are going on. And also, you know, I was part of uh, Victor University for for one year as uh, you know adjunct fellow. And then <clears throat> this recently, this news which I was talking about is being announced and um, was listed over there, and it is being you know published in uh, in Odisha newspaper Sambad also. So now, why e support for research? Why I thought of uh, you know making this uh, channel? And this is what you know I can say is like whatever I have learned and the journey that I have pursued throughout that you know, sort of a decade. Uh, I did my you know master then PhD and you know sort of uh, I was inclined or still you know inclined towards research. So 
there has been a lot of you know thing that a uh, learning process and still we are learning so whatever i have learned and still whatever you know thing are going on research that are going on i would uh, like to share at a platform where you know not only it should be limited to a particular you know institute or university it should be available to all so uh, towards you know um, uh, um, not only indian community towards other you know um, you know you can say the country people they can also or the young researcher they can also avail so i thought of uh, initially start starting this as uh, a sort of in a language of hindi and english you know sort of thing then i decided to move to uh, particularly to our you know english language so that i can cover a broad uh, you know um, region and uh, if uh, it feels that you know i need to have local you know for indian researcher then in future i might uh, you know take a part of uh, i will start another channel with hindi whatever i have been covering so you can see uh, like uh, the main purpose of it is uh, sort of where i'll be covering a topic like how you'll be selecting journal there are so many you know journals and uh, about indexing databases you might be wondering about web of science scoopers and other sort of indexing then if we talk about indian community then we'll be talking about ugc index journal and all sort of things so how you can able to you know select uh, those journal or how you can able to assess those uh, databases that sort of thing also i'll be covering in this and then tool to support research you know there are you know tools like if i say uh, you are checking your report for similarity then you have urkund turn it in and uh, let's say you want to format your references then you have mendeley and other sort of referencing tool and there are other you know uh, tools that can help uh, to make you you know uh, let's say literature or diagram or presentation better so all sort of thing we'll be covering uh, one by one and i have already you know uh, uploaded few videos on urkund and uh, turn it in you can view the uh, playlist as well then guideline also you know guideline ethical awareness related to ugc and cof uh, the international standard the committee on ethical you know uh, publication ethics that that all sort of guideline and uh, you know ethical awareness that are coming up new thing or you know uh, challenging uh, ch challenges that you can say also is uh, daily basis that are coming up that also also will be trying to cover moreover you know this video which uh, you can see over here this already i have uh, you know uploaded about on urkund then uh, how you can able to do journal search or selection based on you know journal suggester on springer elsewhere and you know other sort of uh, tools that are available like jen then um, if you have sort of you know problem with scoopers uh, profile and all sort of thing also that i've covered then how you can able to do document search in web of science i'll be coming off with document search for scoopers also then about orchid then uh, selection of journal through ugc care what is group one what is group two then uh, then about publication and research ethics you know or mandatory course by ugc most of the you know indian uh, student or phd student they are they mean to do that uh, mandatory course that is publication and research ethics and uh, on that uh, i have uh, a playlist which i have already you know covered 90 percent of it and the remaining also i'll be uploading soon in in that playlist so there where uh, you can find a publication ethics related you know on uh, a video then what is self-plagiarism what is ghost gift and uh, you know guest authorship what how you can able to recognize authorship related problem or some sort of dispute how you can able to manage you know uh, predatory journal how you can able to find out all all you know different dimension that i have already covered so already you know the ugc notification on this uh, prevention of plagiarism that also i have covered wh what is and that is not only limit uh, limited to researcher this uh, you know uh, the faculty or the institution they are part of you know research uh, uh, you know council or the you know, committee or cell they can also you know take certain you know, note or if they want to you know able, uh, they want to know the you know updated information related to this and publication ethics so these are the videos which i have already uploaded uh, on turn it in uh, then uh, how you can able to create account for you know instructor then for student and for you know different settings similarly uh what is irins how you can able to create bitban profile you know all sort of thing i have already covered 
so uh, this is uh, what you know i thought of uh, covering in this intro video thank you for watching please do you know uh, like uh, and share my video and uh, please uh, you know follow the you know um, videos that i have already uploaded and you can hit the bell icon so that you can get the latest you know um, information whenever i have uploaded any sort of video so thank you for watching this particular video thank you again